Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra, and today is gonna to be kind of a different video. I asked you guys on Instagram to send in a photo of one particular space in your home and a major problem you were having with that space. I thought it would be fun to tackle a few of these problems in a video here, and if you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments and maybe this will become like a series, who knows? I've picked five spaces to tackle, and I've picked them because I feel like they're common problems that a lot of people have. So even though this may not be your space that I'm talking about, I hope that you'll find some tips woven in through each of these spaces that you can apply into your own home. So let's get started. So the first space comes from Chelsea, and she's struggling to make her bedroom feel cozy and warm. Hi everyone, my name's Chelsea, and my partner and I just moved into a new condo in downtown Toronto. Our new bedroom is a bit of a strange shape, so we're having some struggle filling up random like dips on our wall with decor. I can't fit a bedside table on my side of the bed. There's not really any room for curtain rods to be installed, and it's just overall a really like cold, not cozy kind of bedroom, which is something I want to fix. So yeah, help me out, please. <laughs> They're also struggling with a functional issue, which is that they can't fit a nightstand on both sides of the bed. The room is way too small. I feel like this is such a common issue for people, especially if you live in a condo. I have this problem in my apartment. So I thought I would solve both of your problems in one solution, and that is to invest in some sort of floating shelf above your bed. I would ditch the side tables altogether. I know it's like a bold, controversial statement. Obviously you need a place to put a glass of water or your books, so I would invest in just a floating shelf above the bed. I love Ikea's photo shelves. They're really inexpensive, and that also acts as kind of like a faux headboard. So you can prop up candles up here, books that you're reading, maybe some art. That's going to warm up the space. It's gonna add lots of texture and kind of depth to your walls and instantly kind of solve that problem of not having a side table on either side of the bed. Another thing that really instantly makes a space feel warm and inviting, especially a bedroom, is lighting. And I would encourage you to invest in some plug-in wall sconces on either side of the bed. These are really inexpensive. I've done this in a ton of my makeovers. And especially if you have smart lights, you can dim the bulbs. Again, that's gonna just instantly warm up your space and make it feel super cozy. Another thing I would suggest is changing out your duvet to something more patterned. Again, that's gonna just add a lot more texture. Maybe throw a quilt on the end of the bed or a throw blanket, and then add some fun cushions. I just love mixing and matching all of my cushions, but look for something that is textured. So something with fringe on it, tassels, pom-poms, <laughs> even something in a velvet texture. It's just gonna warm up your space and yeah, make it feel really hookish. So here's kind of a mock-up of what your room would look like if you added in these elements. I hope this inspires you to add some of these to your space and I hope it makes a difference. The next room came from Annette and I actually think the problems she's having are super common but also really interesting. Hi Alexandra, my name's Annette. I live in Los Angeles and I submitted my room because of the spike. I moved into my room six months ago. It's a small space and when I first moved in, I didn't have a lot of furniture so I just mounted it on the wall. Now that I'm settled, I realize it probably wasn't the best place for the bike. There's a lot of dead room around it and I'm lacking storage. I have drawers under my bed, my closet's organized but it's packed, and I'm just looking for a way to add a piece of furniture that can add storage, maybe put this bike in a more efficient way and make better use of the space. Meanwhile, I wanna add some color and add some spice to the room as well. I'm excited to see what suggestions you have, thanks. You know, if you don't have a balcony, if you're living in a rental apartment, I totally get it. It's like, where else are you gonna store your bike? She has this Ikea cube, but it's all open. She finds that it gets really cluttered easily, and it causes kind of this dead space between her bed and the wall. That's actually another common kind of complaint I get from a lot of people is they're like, I don't know what to do with this awkward dead space in my room. First off, I wanna say that the way you're actually storing your bike now is kind of genius. Annette is storing her bike on the wall. I'm gonna uh, link down below to some similar wall holders for bikes like this. I actually think it makes a really cool decor focal point. Kind of doubles as wall art. You're also storing your bike, which is like really cool. So you're kind of doing two things in one. But Annette, I would encourage you to move your bike up just a bit higher on the wall to make it feel more like a statement piece of Art is maybe not the right word, but kind of a statement focal point of your room. 
And then what I would suggest is actually ditching this cube that you have. So while I love this cube product, I feel like it's making your space feel a little bit cluttered because it's not closed storage. So I actually think a dresser would um, help fill this dead space that's going on at the end of your bed and also add a lot more function in your space. So it's giving you more drawers, more storage, and then on top you can decorate it maybe with a lamp, maybe a jewelry tree to have all your little trinkets on display. And then I would finish off the space with a rug. I think a rug is always a great idea, just a small area rug, doesn't have to be a huge one. It's gonna add warmth, it's gonna add texture, um, and just make the space feel a lot more homey. Finally, I would take that pile of laundry and place it in a decorative basket. You don't have to get a laundry bin, just get something that's really decorative, really fun. So you're adding a piece of decor to your space and you're also hiding all of that laundry clutter away. So here's the finished space with all of those elements. As you can see, the bike is just moved up a little bit. It frees up um, a little bit of space in that corner for a laundry bin. The dresser and the rug just look like they're meant to be there and kind of help fill all of that dead space that you had going on before. So the next space is a living room from Sarah. And Sarah is dealing with a problem that so many people have. Hi, Alexandra. So here's uh, my living room. This is the most challenging room in the house. Uh, I like a lot this space, we spend most of our time in here, but it's uh, a little bit cold and we would like to have a more warm and cozy space. So I hope you can help us. Thank you. She has this very open, kind of minimal living room, but she wants it to feel more warm, more inviting, more cozy, but she doesn't know where to start. I hear this all the time. People saying like, I have a general idea, I think plants, a coffee table, you know, a light would help, but I just don't know where to start. So Sarah, you are on the right track, but I am here to maybe inspire you to like go with your gut more and just kind of take the plunge and invest in those pieces that are gonna make your space feel a lot more homey. So I would start with a rug. I either say start with a rug or finish with a rug. Here's my reasoning. I think if you're gonna start with a rug, it's a really great starting point if you feel kind of lost with not knowing what colors or patterns or textures to bring into a room. What I would encourage you to do is first find a rug that you love the color of and then pick out colors and patterns from that rug, disperse that throughout the rest of your room. Now, rugs can be kind of pricey, so I would start with this. You'll be amazed at what a difference it makes just that one item to your space. And then over time, add more things like throw blankets or throw cushions in the colors um, of your rug. If your rug is really neutral, have maybe fun with your cushions to add color um, or art on the walls or plants. If the rug is something you're gonna buy last, I would see how the room comes together and then go out and pick a rug that, again, complements all of the accessories in your space. I would also recommend getting a floor plant. Again, this makes such a difference. It adds a pop of green to your space. Get a fun basket or planter to put it in. Something like a Birds of Paradise or a Fiddly Fig. Those are both very trendy house plants and like somewhat easy to take care of says the person who's killed like 18 Philly figs, but I do have a Birds of Paradise right now and it's thriving. So yeah, put one of these in the corner and that and a rug, I know it's like two things, but you'll be amazed at how different your space feels. So the next space is from Paige and she actually sent in a photo of her staircase. Hey Alexandra, my name is Paige. My boyfriend and I just moved into this house and our stairway to the basement has these three big blank walls that have just been too intimidating to begin decorating. We don't want it to look too cluttered, but we would also like it to be a focal point. So we love your style and we would really appreciate some of your ideas. She is saying there's so many possibilities, but again, like Sarah, she doesn't know where to start. So I have two simple changes that I think are gonna transform this staircase. Staircases are like kind of those forgotten areas, but they deserve some decor love too. The first thing I would do in this space is actually change that ceiling light to a pendant. So that's going to hang in front of that big blank wall at the back and fill it up. So you're not doubling up on art. I think too much art in a small enclosed space can get kind of chaotic. So I think if you have a pendant, it's going to fill up that wall, do something really fun. I would actually hang something in an interesting shape. I'm gonna pop one up here, a picture of this star pendant light. I really love it. It's gonna act as art, but you're not gonna be hanging anything on the walls. It's also gonna add more light to this stairwell and make it feel a lot more warm and cozy. Because on the other wall, you've got such a big space to fill, 
I would suggest going to Ikea, getting their biggest frame, they're really inexpensive. I think their biggest frame is under $40. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but they're really inexpensive. And fill it with a really interesting wallpaper or decorative paper from the paper store. So you're adding a big piece of art without spending like hundreds of dollars. You could also do a small gallery wall, but I don't know, I think there's something nice about just like one big patterned piece of paper. Um, and it's really budget friendly as well. I'm really excited to see what you actually do with this little staircase. Let me know, send me a DM of the finished uh, space. And let me know if you go with like a cool pendant light. I think that is such a game changer. So I've saved the most common space for last. This space is from Nicole. She lives in a studio apartment and she is struggling with a common problem that so many people have. So she has a shared kitchen and living room. They're kind of one space, but she entertains and she wants to have people over. But she's like, how do I do that? How do I add a table into this space? I wish I could come decorate your space for you. I know you live in Cyprus, but I can totally visualize this space. Oh, actually, fun fact, my mom used to live in Cyprus. Thanks for following me. That's so cool that you live so far away from Canada. But your space is totally great. You're on the right track. I just have a couple tweaks that I think are gonna be such huge game changers to making this space feel more functional for you. So the first thing I would do is ditch that storage unit that's currently in your kitchen. I would instead put floating shelves on the wall. You could do something wood, you could do something white, any kind of style that you like, and move that stuff that's being stored in that container onto the shelves. You can use baskets to hide things that you don't want to display, use mason jars to put all of your dried goods in, and that is gonna free up all that space. Underneath the shelves, I would suggest putting a Murphy table on the wall. So that's a table that folds up, and then collapses down when you're not using it. So when you're not using it, you have that extra space to walk around and when you have guests over, you can pull the table up. The dining chairs you can bring into the living room. Again, when you have people over, that's extra seating. It's like a win-win. And then in your living room, I would actually suggest taking away that really big coffee table. It's great that you have all that space, but with a dining table, you're gonna kind of wanna minimize the, the coffee table size in your living room to make it feel less cluttered. So I would go with a couple of nesting tables. These are tables that just fit underneath each other. This is gonna save space when you're not using them and then create lots of surface area when you have people over and when you're entertaining. Nicole, this is the finished space. And to all you guys watching, I really hope that this kind of makes you think outside the box when you're decorating a studio apartment. I definitely wanna make over more studio apartments. I think they're such a common struggle for people, but they're cute and they're workable and there's so much you can do with them. That's it guys. I hope that this video inspired you and your space in some way. Let me know in the comments if you like this style of video, if you wanna see more of these and keep your DMs and photos coming. I love seeing all of your spaces and I try my best to answer as many messages as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.